I think artificial intelligence is going to make a number of very significant contributions to human health in the next um, in the next decade. Um, it ranges from understanding better the signals that are hidden inside the very large amounts of biological data that are being collected to figure out the base the, the fundamental pathways that underlie human disease and figure out what interventions are likely to work. That's one aspect. But I think the other aspect, if you will, on the other side is is in helping personalize health care to the needs of individual people, and that includes what medication one needs to give them, um, what disease they have, what medication you need to give them, when do you need to give them, how do you track chronic diseases so that you know when you need to start changing the regime. All of those things are places where big data and figuring out the subtle signals are going to be really important for good health delivery. I think there is currently a lot of hype in artificial intelligence. I think that's a shame because we're in a position where artificial intelligence is actually delivering significant value to a lot of real-world applications that range from uh, natural language understanding and translation, um, speech recognition, image recognition, logistics, self-driving cars. There's so many different ways in which machine learning and artificial intelligence are delivering value. But because the hype is so large, disproportionately large, I worry that some people will be disappointed. So for instance, some people perceive that or believe that the uh, success of artificial intelligence in these relatively constrained and well-defined problems um, suggests that we're going to have fully intelligent agents that can deal with any problem and exceed human intelligence in a matter of a few years. And Anyone who's really an artificial intelligence researcher will tell you that that's just not true. But because people are expecting that, they're either really excited and then will be disappointed when that doesn't happen, or really afraid and looking to slow the progress of artificial intelligence because they're afraid that we're going to get into a Terminator-style universe. And I think both of these are very, um, neither of these is likely to happen. And I think that the perception is really dangerous and uh, potentially might risk um, another AI winter like we've had several times in the past. There's a lot of, there's a broad range of online courses and some online courses have very high quality and others have very low quality. That is also the case for face-to-face -face courses. There are some face-to-face -face courses that are awesome life transformative experiences for the people in the class and then there's others where you sit there in the back of the auditorium falling asleep or, or updating your Facebook page while the professor drones on. So I think quality is less a question of the medium of delivery and, le and more a question of the thought and energy that the instructor and the course team put towards the preparation and it's possible to deliver an absolutely awesome life transforming online course that by virtue of being online has the option to reach a much, much larger number of people, but you have to make the initial investment in much the same way that a really gifted professor needs to make an investment in his or her face-to-face -face class to really get to that transformative experiences for his or her students.